rages. <laughs> now, as the battle is raging, we will now go to a commercial. Bye from our sponsor. Hello, folks. Have you ever gotten down about not being able to call your mother or anybody keeping in touch because of the rates were so high? You were going sky high, but there is one simple way to cut that down. Now, you've seen those commercials about, you know, what's only 450 or even less for 10 minutes. Well, that's good, too, but I've got another way that you can really, really serve on your telephone bill. First, I just called to, um, break my grandmother in China. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, okay. Hey, bye. I'm supposed to meet her pretty soon. Now, I'm just gonna call collect. <laughs> call collect, and they get all the charges. For instance, my, um, father in Hawaii. They stay, yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm calling collect. Well, anyway, okay, I'm just call collect. Your phone bills will be answered. Now back to Granny Zilla. The battle is raging. <laughs> The battle is still raging, but when the priest gets up, Redine decides to just play and finish him off. So he aims his missile at him. Great King has the same thoughts and aims his fist missile at him. At the priest. They both fire. Now. The priest is stunned. So, now that the priest is out of the battle, the Goy King and Radine are still going to battle it out. Goy King and Radine still battle it out. But, in the corner watching is... Granizilla and one of her relatives, Laura. Granizilla exclaims, I'm sick of this fighting. I'm going to go in that battle and see who wins. And whoever wins, I will marry. Little does she know, Guy King and Radine have heard what she's just said, so now they fight even more fiercely for them to be her bride. Guy King has downed Bonzo. He is ready for the final blow to, for the fist right into Radine. Folks, will Bonzo survive? No! 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 No way! No! And Bonzo is dead. Hey! Hey, Bonzo! Guy King runs over to Granny Zilla, his true love. They are soon to be married. Now, for a commercial break from our sponsor. Try the new Flying Superman costume. It flies. All you have to do is jump off something and watch yourself go. Guy King and Granny Zella meet. They love each other. But they decide to get married, but there is no priest. Then, all of a sudden, they hear someone walk in the door. Guy King, look! The priest is entering! The priest is coming! We could get married by him. What? Oh, yes! The priest! The priest is coming! We can get married now! Make it, so I have to take over for, um... My brother's dying, you know. That ugly guy king killed him himself. The 
the wedding soon takes place. Guy King, do you take this awfully wedded smoking big fat warty woman as your awful wedded wife? I do. And Granny Zella, do you take this stupid smelly guy who killed my brother as your awful wedded husband? I do. You're married! Uh, oh, all right. I love you, honey buns. Out of my way, Reese. I want to get in my way. Oh, oh. oh honey. Honey, I love you. I love you, too. And you know what, honey? What? Honey, I stopped smoking just for you. Well, honey, I've got news for you. I just started smoking, and now I can't quit. Oh, brother. What? I guess I can let you smoke. Thank you, honey. I love you. They joined together. They are truly married. Now they hold a celebration. They hire people from a band and they play for them. Is this in the picture? <laughs> Finally, after all these hard times, Granny Zilla is now officially wedded to Guy King. Coming up soon is another great adventure with Granny Zilla and Guy King. But will they be Granny Zilla and Guy King? You never know, because in this episode, they're going to be caught in a matter transmitter, and their heads are going to be all changed into different directions. So we'll see what happens. In the next episode, coming up next. Bye. Okay, folks, for a minute you're going to see some, this little, some weird clips. But it's just going to be a test to see if we can do it for the next episode, okay? Okay, sit tight. For the next adventure of Granny's Love, we take place in Bonzo's Laboratory. Boy, I am so mad at Great King. And Granny Zella. I'll make them pay for embarrassing me so much. And then I'll destroy Great King, too. With my new ray gun that can change the way people's faces look. You! Over there! What? I want you to. I want you for an experiment. Why me? Because you're a stupid fool. What do you want? I want you for an experiment. Now stand still. I'm about to change your face around. Okay. Prepare to have your face changed. Laser ready. <laughs> what happened to me? Your face has been changed with my new laser ray gun. I gotta get out of here. Okay, no, no, no. the stupid fool, let him run away and tell and warn Granny the Lang Guy King that I'm coming to change around their faces. Ha ha ha. Back at Granny Zilla's house, she decides to take a walk with Guy King. Honey? What is it? You want to take a walk with me? Yeah, I'll take a walk with you. Okay, we'll just go down the street a little bit and then turn around and come back. I need the exercise. Okay, I'll go. Let's go, let's go, honey. As Granny Zilla and Guy King are walking down the street, Hargo, one of their close friends, runs down the road. Help! 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 That other guy you thought you Who killed. Who is it? Who is it? What is it's it? It's Hargo. What is it? What is yeah, it? It's Hargo. The other guy you thought you killed, um. You mean Bon? You mean Bonzo? Bongo, yeah. He's alive. And he. He changed my face into this, and he's oh, going out what? to look for you. Uh oh! What? I'm warning you. Help! Breaking! 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 Uh -oh. Look behind you! It's Bonzo! Da da da! Help! Breaking! 
Now, Granny Zilla, I will change your face. Ha, 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 ha. My face, oh no, it looks like yours. You have my face. Now I'll go after you, Great King. Oh no, Great King, look out. What? Oh no. Now I'll get your face. Whoa! Oh no! I've got Granny Zilla's face! Great King has a plan. He tells the others. Hey! Hey! You guys! What? I've got a plan. If make him fire at all of us and we'll duck. And Granny Zilla, you know your new face? Oh, the mirror! Yes. We'll reflect it into him. Okay? Let's go. I'll get the mirror. Na, 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 na. You what? Can't. You dare tease me? <laughs> I'll change all your faces to different. Ready? <laughs> Duck, you guys. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> ah, my laser got deflected from Mazinga's or Granny's in this new face. Oh. It's shiny like a mirror. Oh, my face is changing. Oh. <laughs> Granny Zilla's face turned back to her regular one. Yay! I've got my own face again! And... Guy King's face turned back to his own one. Gargoyle's face turned back to his regular one. There! Everyone is back to normal! Argo's back. Guy King's back. And Granny Zilla's back. Then, Great King gets a great idea. Let's celebrate Argo for his great idea. He's our pal from now on. Three cheers for Argo! Hey, 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 hey. So, they hire a monster band and celebrate. Use oil roll, eh? Beauty queen of the future. And get the beautiful complex complexion. Discover the secret of oil of all day. When I wake up in the morning, I have variety packs. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I decide to have the wedding pack. So I feel like a bride. Sometimes I feel like being mean, and I have that. Sometimes I feel like being mean lady, and I have that. Sometimes I feel like being a robot, so I have that. Sometimes I feel like being another robot, so I have that. And sometimes I want to be a senior citizen, so I have that. So I'm seeing it. myself. Yeah. <laughs> 
Schade. Hi, my name is Alan Fund. And we, IELTS cameras, zoomed in on the little old lady from Pasadena. And we put some surprises in her purse before she left her apartment. And this is what happened. <gasps> Thank you, jerk. You're on. Now we're zooming in our cameras on the little old lady. Hi, oh, she's checking her pocketbook for her lipstick. Oh, my. I said I'd get my lipstick out. Her lipstick for the banquet plate. If you're wondering, well, I'm mean, Alan Fund again. If you're wondering what happened to that little old lady, well, we'll just call up the mental ward and see. Oh, yes. Can I speak to that little old lady that's in there now? Yes, how's she doing? Extreme shock. Oh. Okay, you had to put her to death. Oh, that's too bad. Well, well, at least she died for a good cause. Candid camera. Okay, America, show us your underalls. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to advertise great paper clips. They bend very easily, as you can see. And they're very useful in many things, like holding papers together and even sticking your babysitter. So, now back to our program. Uh, 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 uh. Show us your underalls. Girls and boys, this is Dick Clark, and now I've got the offer for you. Right now, and right now only, we have 13 records for the price of 15. And if you can get a better deal than that, then we want you to send back our money back guarantee, and in three days, we will send you back all your money. All right, now this includes all the good tunes of the 50s and of the 40s and of the 30s, all the way back to the caveman. You remember the old cave back rock. And now, we'll have Now, a here is our Dick Clark special feature dancer. <laughs> and now, back to Dick Clark. Well, you've seen what you can do to this kind of music. That was our caveman, this special Paul Taylor. And today, here on this very special offer, if you look in your TV guide on page 35, and you fill in the little yellow box, you'll get another record, one more record for free. That's it, no money, guys, nothing, okay? So that makes 14 records for the price of 15 records, okay? Now, send in today, and you'll get your free Dick Clark doll, along with your free Paul Taylor dancing doll, which will cost you no extra charge, all you have to do is pay postage and handling $59.35. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dick Clark. Hello, my name is Paul Taylor, and I'm here advertising the Weapons and Warfare ad on the waist stuck in the back of your TV guide. Now, this is a great offer. Everything you want to know about World War II. Great pictures of the tanks, the actual tanks that fought at Pearl Harbor, and Don't bring him in. and um, you see actual photos of see actual photos of the blue.
blood splattered around by President Kennedy. Actual photos of the blood splattered around by President Kennedy. And if you put an X over this Japanese warship, you get, you get a free machine gun. Kill anybody you want, okay? Just mark an X over the Japanese war thing and write a little comment on the bottom of it saying, nuke Iran and you will get a free machine gun. Now just rip out the pages in your TV guide and send them in, okay, folks? There you go. And a free machine gun will be yours. Okay. And now back to Master Peach Theater. We left our friend, George III. You see him here. He was getting in a big fight with his wife. You see her here. Um, and now they are becoming cloned together. You see them here. Um, the fight will continue right after this message. Now, the greatest show yet. The world of survival. Dun, 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 dun. We see now this octopus stepping the other octopus. This is the world of survival, folks. Then we see a shark come in. Ooh, notice the blood and gore. Oh, look at this. This is the world of survival, folks. Look at this, man. Oh, this is true life now. Now this. Oh, the result is yeah, blood and gore all over the place. This is the world of survival now, you know, folks? Well, now that the world is all dead. Special news break, ABC. Dick Clark has just been shot. Now, new classified coverage of the death of Dick Clark. Notice him lying on the floor. We've got no idea of who did it. <gasps> What's that? Laughter's coming from... <gasps> Wait! Up in the corner. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the magic show of Paul Taylor, Mike Arsenal, and Tom Arsenal. What we're going to do here now is right before you, you see a head, okay? And now, we'll do that magic trick one more time for all so those great. that couldn't see it. We're going to do it one more time so that maybe you'll be able to figure what it is, okay? Now you see it, and now you don't, okay? Now, one more time, we're going to make that thing reappear. <laughs> that was Paul, folks. That wasn't it. No, I don't show me. Arsenal Taylor Films presents the seance. Gypsy woman, can you help me contact my dead aunt? I will try my best, my son. What is your name, my son? Johnny Henderson. Johnny. Aunt of John Anderson. Arise from the dead and enter this room. Communicate with us. Enter this room. Come join us. Enter this room. Aunt, deceased aunt, come to us. Come to us, be present. Come to us. Your deceased aunt is present. 
We will now try to communicate with her. I am communicating. Do you know how she died? No. She was murdered, beheaded with an axe by her next door neighbor, Benson. Maybe Pat, poor soul. Your aunt wishes you to dispose of Benson. I will do what she wishes. Without elaborating, President Reagan renewed his warnings of swift retribution against terrorists, and the president took a tough stand on what he called the immoral conduct of the Soviet Union and against economic problems at home. Now this. This bud's for everybody who puts in a hard day's work. For all you do. This bud's for you. More than 20 of the freed Americans are in New York. They'll be honored with a ticket tape parade there tomorrow. We'll have more details on the negotiations for their release tonight on Nightline. More news later on this ABC station. Uh, just a second, Ed. Every year, Frank rushes his return so he can get his refund. And what does he get? Mistakes, delays. We both got to sign yeah, it. I know. And fill out the revenue sharing question. I know. Did you use the right tax table? Check the math. He ought to recheck everything. Here. Perfect. Betcha! Play tic-tac-toe, Connecticut Lottery's newest instant game. Just rub the nine spots, and if you get all X's or all O's in the three spots in any row, column, or diagonal, you win the prize shown on the ticket, up to $10,000 instantly. Play tic-tac-toe, a winner, hands down. Connecticut's best news team is...
Tu lari dari dari do. Ball in the army, you actually march and you can actually smile. Look at this, people are actually smiling in the army. Okay. Okay, they're taking off their landing. Uh, hmm, slight difficulty with the helicopters. Man screaming, saluting. Um, okay, you have the army, army College Fund. You call that number and you will get this pamphlet to show a man eating and laughing. Nothing impossible. Oh, hello, welcome to cooking with me. And I will, I, she, I take the omelet, it's there. Hello, today North Carolina has 50, oh, Missouri has 9 something. I don't know. But now let's watch some HBO. Oh well, I'm not a subscriber, so, well, <laughs> comes in pretty stinky if you ask me. Okay, you get into your car, you shift those gears, and you rev up, and you take off, because you're running from the cops. That's right, take off, man. Well, you see, now the following film we're going to show you is a National Geographic special, and it deals with with the jungle, mostly the jungle, and different things in the jungle. Now, watch this. It's It's very very strange, you see? So the following, well, bear with me. This is very true and all actual stuff and very educational. Remember, this is around Africa, these things here. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go now. Here. Now, here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. right -o. Now, we're going to go now. Now we are in Antarctica. Well, it is very snowy in Antarctica, as you see. But there is a boy there, and he is wearing a tropical shirt. What a dopo. Now, as you will see now, a man is surfing, which is very ridiculous. And he's in the water, and I don't know how he's surfing. Uh, I think he's going to hit an iceberg pretty soon. Oh, that was just the, the little cartoon before the show, you see. Here we go. Now we're in the jungle carrying a box with a that has a label but there's actually nothing in there but flour it is really worthless she is very tired because she has been on now on this journey for five minutes they, she signals them to drop their nothing They're, those bags are have nothing in them it's really weird now this kid he drops and he goes and he's gonna take a nap here and he what does he say okay oh wait we're getting some sound here the little one is saying something where is it Translation. Huh, weird language you have here. Okay, it's going to go see. Uh oh, what are they? A weird kind of cannibal. <gasps> what are they? Trees. No, the foreground, you idiot. Oh, cannibals. Ah! Oh, what are those? <gasps> Trees. No, the foreground, you idiot. Ah! Ah! Huh? What's going on, man? Ah! What's that? Trees. The foreground, you idiot. What are over there? Trees. No idiot. Oh. Ah. Ha ha ha. Oh no. Help me. Help me. Help me. Who can help me now? This is an actual damsel in distress. Oh, she shot one. Oh, this is so vulgar. A girl of that age carrying... Now he is, uh... Oh, what? <sighs> little, little humor there. Ha ha ha. Okay, now... Uh-oh. The... Everyone's cowering in fear. She says a cannibal is coming. <gasps> Wait. The ghosts have possessed her. Oh, uh oh, what's happening? <gasps> Zappo! Hey, there was a piece of magic there, but you didn't see it. What? Ah! The hat, it's hovering! Help me, help me! It might fall. If it falls, it'll hit my toe and it'll hurt. Oh my, look at a pot. <gasps> of course, you realize there's nothing in there. It's just strange. These, they have a strange potion that consists of nothing, and it's. It's very strange. He he doesn't seem not to agree with the taste. He's wearing that huge mushroom. It's a special mushroom grown in that area. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, it's an elephant. It's an elephant coming to the rescue. Oh no, wait. I have been mistaken. It was not an elephant, but in fact, it was help the jungle boy of nothing. He's it's a jungle boy. Everyone says, Oh no, help me. Now you leave, you hear? Yeah, oh no, let's get out of here. Hell, you saved me. Oh, uh-uh. Oh, I'm so... 
Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, 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 uh. Of course, it, she, she, she's not wet. There is nothing. There is nothing in the pot after nothing. Absolutely nothing. Who are you? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes, I understand. Uh huh. Now, after that, the jungle became quite civilized. Uh, here we have a policeman and a, hmm, what, a strange looking pedestrian. This is a last chance film. And who else are here but the jungle boy and his mate? Ha <laughs> ha. What do you have to say now, jungle boy? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now they are leaving valiantly after colonizing the jungle. Now he is washing the dishes. Very strange. Shut up! Oh, this. Oh, he drops the dishes. Oh, he's crying. Oh, no. Please come back. Oh, now we. No, we don't. We have uh, fl two flying airplanes. Here we go. One looks. Uh, one looks rather red. Oh, this is a black and white film, but. Okay, now. Okay. Now, this lady is making now making a kind of spaghetti that is grown only in kitchen sinks. She says she, it comes right out of the drain. Now, this is a strange beast, and we're not sure what it's called because the natives are here engaged, are engaged with Mortal Kombat with a skunk. Yes, sirree, Mortal Kombat. Look at that. Isn't he vicious, folks? Yes, man. Look at this. Can you believe it? Oh, he's not going to side so violent. No, we are racing, racing down the slopes here. This man is being chased by what else but a flying coconut. Oh wait, here we are, another room. It's the president's room. No, now we flash back. Ah, monkeys, monkeys. These are the peculiar monkeys of the jungle. Here, this one attempts to sneeze, but no sound comes out. Now he's very disappointed, so he starts eating pebbles off the ground. His son does the same. The ones in the background are not eating pebbles, but they are, in fact, smoking diarrhea. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, now we zoom in. Ah, there's one. Oh, now there's an Neymar. This man is psyched up. I mean, he's act he's been on his diet for 12 years, and he wants to see if he lost a pound. Here he goes. Did he do it? He Whoa! He did it! He did it! He now, this lady is screaming because she wants her husband back. He was taken away. Or so th these all people are screaming because someone they knew. Oh, he's mad. He's mad now. Oh, and he's flabbergasted. Oh. She is uh, in pain. Sort of. Now, uh, what the thing? What the thing that people, all these people have in common is that, oh, is that they knew this man. Yes, this man, and, and this woman, and this man here, and these two men, and the people in the back, and these four men, or three, that you can see, and all these cars. They knew all these people. Hey, look the dynam the dynamite taste of cold point. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, now we're gonna show you exclusive evidence, uh, exclusive film. Ex oh, look at that. Exclusive film of a crime. Yes, sir, a crime. And this crime is the death of a chicken. Uh, notice that man in the back. He's thought of a, as an accomplice. He has the, the wacky hair. Yeah, he's seen, you know him. Uh-oh, he's mad. They're running through. Now they're stopping the crime. Oh, they're stopping the crime. Now we're going to go to actual film footage of the scene of the crime. Are you actually going to be seeing the scene of the crime? Hello, I'm here to introduce the film. Nope, this film is not about the works that you are seeing. It's not about financing, leasing, or any other stuff. It's not about telemarketing. It is not about any of this. It's not about this cube. It is not about those numbers. It's not about this block man. It's not about this lady. It's not about anything. It's not, it's not about these lines. It's not about uh, anything that you are seeing here. But here is the film. This is the scene of the crime. This is the crime. After we bake a few omelets, we will go now to the oh, small omelets. Okay, now this man is going to move, motion his hand to start the movie. He is pointing out his different parts of his hand and the paper. You know, he's saying, this is my palm, etc. Here we go. Now. Now, this is the scene of the crime. Uh, this is before the crime. This is before the actual crime. He's getting... O no, he was... He's leaving the crime. The crime has already been committed, and the victim of the crime is now in that boat. 
that coffin boat, the boat with a coffin on it. And this man is leaving the scene of the crime because he did it. He's making it not look suspicious. Right? He got this guy that's on this coffin boat right now. This is after the crime now. Now you're looking through these flowers through a hidden camera. The man in the coffin actually had a camera, but he was dead. Oh, boy. Hey, how is he doing this? Oh, well. He's gotten out. Wait, something's happened. No, this is before the scene of the crime, and he is going to commit the crime. Oh, he committed the crime. No, wait, he is going to commit the crime. He committed the crime. He committed the crime. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. No, this, in fact, was not the scene of the crime. This was, in fact, a scene from Moonraker. This is the scene of the crime. It is a dead chicken. And, um, oh, this man floating around is Edward, Edward Hirsch, and he's suffering from over-exaggeration of a gray nose. Yes, he is, folks. He has a gray nose. Hmm. Pathetic. Oh, now here is the murderer leaving the scene of the crime. He is returning to the scene of the crime. And once again, leaving the scene of the crime. Now here we have, oh yes, this is what he does. He, exclusive footage of him signing his name on a piece of small, a small minute piece of granola in red ink. In red ink, he is signing his name to a small minute piece. There we go. Oh, now this is that guy again floating around doing his thing. That's sort of worth Introducing sparklers. Bye. Homing in on But what's wrong? <coughs> Pegasus is back. <coughs> Someone check. I'll check on Pegasus. He seems to be in pain. <coughs> Yes, one of his wings, it's... It's been seared. Oh, that's... Easy, Pegasus, easy. Perseus, take a look! <laughs> what is it? Is it serious? It looks pretty bad, I'm not sure. If it'll be able to fly. How long will it take to heal? Skylar. Probably a, a few days. I'll give him a test ride. Okay, Perseus.
Easy. Easy, bro. Here we go. Oh, wait. He's trying to warn us. What? What is it? Look, there, an object in the distance, coming over the horizon. Do 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 do. A laser blast! Ah, it's rocking. To your weapons! To your weapons! To battle! Easy, Pegasus. In the secret entrance. You'll be safe in here. <laughs> Quickly, into our into your seats. But where is Tros? He fell off the mountain. I'm afraid he's severely wounded or dead. Well, let's get going. I have a plan. We won't be able to operate the laser cannon. For that, it was Crow's job. Watch out! Our swords and shields uh, do little good against this enemy! Barely holding on. The upper sections there, their supports are, are going. It's gonna fall. I'm barely holding on, but the upper sections, they're going to go. Told you the plan. Let's get going. Raise the hatch. The hatch is raised. Now bail out. It's over. What was this thing? It looks like a police vehicle from the old era. It's run by computers. That's why it's not manned. It must have gone berserk. Well, let's see how many wounded or dead we have back at our base. Right. Let's go. We can repair our land vehicle later. <laughs> oh my, looks pretty bad. Come on, Pegasus. We'll need an aerial, we'll need an aerial view of this disaster. <laughs> okay, Pegasus. Giddy up.
be with endangered animals once you've managed to save them from extinction. During the 60s and 70s, conservationists were preoccupied with saving endangered species, and happily, they did save a lot of them. But now we're finding that there isn't room for those animals in the prepackaged environments, like zoos and parks. There's a new cry now. James Bond has been taken prisoner by Dr. No, the son of the Dr. No that was based in Jamaica and toppled American missiles and sold them to Russia. Now his son captured James Bond and has him imprisoned in a space station that is orbiting the planet Jupiter. From there, Dr. No can fire heat rays that will go through the Earth's atmosphere and melt the polar ice caps. He has not done so yet. But then James Bond breaks his bonds and fights Dr. No and crushes his plan. Then Dr. No tries to escape within an escape pod. Bond follows him. They are now both in their escape pods, shooting towards Earth. There is but one parachute within that escape pod for when that pod goes through the Earth's atmosphere, one of them, whoever has that parachute, will be able to make it back to Earth. A battle rages on board that escape pod. And there is also but one escape hatch. This James Bond adventure is entitled Death Flight, Death Fall. Dr. No has one claw for a hand. Inside the escape pod, a battle rages. Get, I must get to that portal. Not if I can stop you, Dr. No. Down you go, Bond, and I will escape. Stop him. Too late, Bond. I've got... He has the parachute. He's gone. Within the Earth's atmosphere, Dr. No plummets. With the parachute. Bond is finished. Oh yeah, Doctor? What? Ah! 
his boot. <laughs> Kicked you away, Bond. I'm not through yet, Doctor Now. <laughs> Parachute from Doctor No. This is the last tug of war, Doctor. The parachute. Ah, oh, he's gotten it. Ah. Goodbye, Doctor No. Parachute on before I hit bottom. There, got it. Another point. Boy. Yeah. Well. Another point scored for England. Against evil. The end. Jeff! <laughs> don't, don't get funny. Mama. Don't get funny. Come on. It's after this. It's so strong. Come on. Mm. Can I make it? <laughs> Shut off. Wait a little while. Okay, shut it off. Okay, shut it off.
after all. Gotta come help me. Check out this area. Right. Shh. I've gotta find Hawkman and Tiger Man. Something got me. It's coming towards us. Look out! The dark figure! Oh! oh. And his hawk bird. Oh. <laughs> no! Please, stay away! A lizard creature! Stay away! With this lizard woman! Into battle. Everyone, to arms, quickly! Quickly, we must go. I'll alert the other troops. Right, let's go. Men, into action, quickly! Our men need help. Make sure you have enough weapons. <laughs> Send out the beetle. And let us go with our power tank from the old era. Tiger Man, you go at the turrets. Tiger Man's at the turrets. Okay, we're Dr. all... Dr. Shock is commanding officer inside. Everything's going fine. Approaching battle area. The beetle. Into battle! Fire! <laughs> Thank you. Ha ha. No, jump. Ah. My fellow evildoers. Whatever you say, my come. master, it shall be done. They're coming. you. Here we come. That aroma has awakened me. I smell it too. <laughs> Quickly, I must win. I'm coming no. to hack you up. I got you. Uh oh, the Earth is going to blow up. Ooh. 
engines are started. We have ignition. Two, one, zero. We have a we have lift off. We are flying. We are heading towards. on the violin. <laughs> Shut that up, you idiot. Hey, it faded to distance. My servant should be my servant for eternity. Ow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 No, that creature's gotten in. It's the madman that he fought before. Now you know the horrible lives these mutants live. Help me. Help me cure the other mutants. I will. Mutant kind is exterminated. <laughs> 